Hey guys, Shock here from Saki. Check it out. In today's video, we have a brand new update for millions of Samsung Galaxy smartphones. This update is for an exclusive Samsung app that takes your display and it actually extends display related features for Samsung Galaxy smartphones. So the name of the application is known as the Display Assistant application and it adds six new features to your display as an extension and you can customize it. So first, let me show you how to download this and then I'm gonna show you guys what these features are one by one. It just got recently updated as well, so it's even more enhanced and works better. So to download this application, what you wanna do is you wanna click the link down below that's gonna take you to my website and it's gonna be right over here. It's a display assistant. If you scroll down, you can tap on link to download and you can read the details of the app right here. But if you click the link right here, it will take you to the Samsung Galaxy Store. You can see it is still beta, so it is constantly being updated so we can get a stable release. Now if I go down over here, you can see it was updated on March the 7th. The size was four megabytes and the latest version is 7.0.20. Now I do wanna show you something real quick. If you go to my website and if you scroll down on the, on the page, you can see right over here, it says supported from One UI 7.0. It may take some time for newly launched models to be supported. So as of now, it is working on the S25 series. It's also working on any Samsung phone running One UI 7.0 beta. Again, when you click the download, if it works, it's gonna show the app screen. If it doesn't show the app screen, it's not ready yet for your phone. But anyway, let me open this up and you can see we have six features. Now the first one here is the app screen timeout feature. You can set a screen timeout for each application. Now normally if you go to your settings and go to display, you can see you have a screen timeout option right here, okay? Now once you set this up, this applies a system-wide screen timeout, all right? But with the new feature, you are able to set a screen timeout for a specific uh, application. Just as an example, let's say I was in the messages application. Okay, I'm gonna tap on add, and then it gives me the option to select a screen timeout, a specific screen timeout for that particular application. So I can have it at 30 seconds, boom. So if I'm in the messages application, the screen will time out in 30 seconds and that's gonna save me some battery life. So I can think of a bunch of use case scenarios for this one, the option is there. Now as you add applications, you look at how the interface changes. You can see the messages icon and it says 30 seconds. If I add one more, let's just add one more here. Let's just say this one right here. Uh, let's say one minute, look at this. If I go out, now it shows one minute for that application and 30 seconds for that application. Now, the next thing that we have is we have the keep screen on. So if I tap on this one, it says the screen will stay on for 30 minutes. So if you want the screen to stay on for 30 minutes for whatever reason, again, I can think of use case scenarios, you simply tap over here and you add this quick button. So when you add this button, that quick setting button goes to the top into my quick toggles right over here, okay? So it's right there. If I tap this, it's gonna keep the screen on for 30 minutes, again, for whatever. These are extensions that give you additional capabilities. So we have that one. And then we have the brightness limit profile. If I tap on this one, I can do standard or light. So this one says brightness is limited at high temperature. So if, if you're outside, it's a very hot day, uh, it's gonna limit the brightness because a brighter display can make the phone even hotter. So it's gonna make sure that doesn't happen, but you can also go with the lighter mode. Brightness can be kept at high temperatures, but the device will cool down slowly. In some unique scenarios, you might wanna enable this. Maybe if you're out there taking some videos or photos in, in, in a sunny day or whatever, but normally standard should be fine. And then we have the adaptive brightness options, all right? So when you select, when you go to your settings, and when you go to your display, and you choose adaptive brightness, this is when this applies. So as the brightness goes from high to low in different environments, 
How fast do you want the transition to take effect? You can do it quicker or even faster, okay? This is the default right here. It kind of gradually fades to a lower brightness, but if you have at 4x, it's just gonna go from high bright to low bright as you change your environments. Maybe if you go from a dim environment to a bright environment, the display brightness will go down quicker this way than this way. So that's a great option as well. And then what we have here is we have the standard refresh rate app. So I love this feature. So I can add applications. Let's say I want to go to my calculator application. So it's going to be under tools. I like the way that they categorize everything. So tools, here's the calculator. I'm going to tap on add. And now what's going to happen is when I launch the calculator application. So right now I'm at 120 hertz, okay? So it's going to be nice and smooth. But if I launch the calculator application, do I really need the 120 hertz? I don't. So it is going to switch over to 60 hertz. It is running at 60 right now. And you can see, you cannot tell the difference because with the calculator, there's no scrolling. It's just a couple button taps and a couple calculations, okay? And as soon as you exit, it goes back to 120 hertz, okay? So you can add applications I prefer adding static applications to the standard refresh rate. So any app you add here will run at 60 hertz when you add it to the system. Alrighty? And then finally, we have the screen curtain option. So this one here, the screen curtain mode puts the screen in dose state. Again, if you add a quick button, it will go into your quick settings right over here. You can see it says screen curtain. And let me show you what it does. I'm going to use this app as an example. So here's an app that's running right now. So if I want this app to continue running in the background, I can activate the screen curtain and have the app run in the background. And you can actually see it happening in real time. So let me show that here. So I'm going to tap on screen curtain. So now I got my curtain and it says display assistant is running. Okay. And I have my notifications, screen curtains, and I can double tap to go back, all righty? So let me give you one more example. If I was over here, let's just, again, this is just an example. Let's say I'm running a benchmark on my phone, but I don't need the display. Again, I can run the benchmark. 3D Mark is running right now. I can pull this, I can pull this down, tap on screen curtain, and you can see it says 3D Mark is running. And it, it's not just running in the background, it is completely running as if the display was on, yet the display is off, and that's saving you battery, okay? So there's unique use case scenarios for this uh, application here, all righty? And that was the last option, the screen curtain. So you can see we have these six new features right here. Fantastic, guys. Any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below. Let me know for now. Have a fantastic day.